Hello viewer. Welcome to this video of mine. Well, you must have read the title of this video which says that things which don't kill you makes you stronger. Yes, I am talking about the things, the situations, the circumstances which you are in today. If that situation or circumstance is giving you pain, problems, sufferings, miseries, troubles, if you are facing obstacles, agonies, traumas, and if you come out of this situation alive, then you can easily conclude that you will come out of it stronger. But there is a catch here. There is a complication here. I mean, there is a part your mind has to play if you wanna come out stronger out of that painful situation. The situation will pose in front of you two paths, two directions, two ways. On the first path, the path will show you reasons that you just can't come out of this dire situation. It will tell you, just give up. It will tell you, you are not capable to overcome the difficult circumstance. It will tell you that you don't have the ability to handle and tackle the problem. On the second path, I mean the second way, you don't have to listen to anyone. On the contrary, you have to tell yourself, I can do it. You have to tell yourself, I am the best. You have to tell yourself, I have the power to make a comeback. And when you start walking on this second path relentlessly, then you will see that you will bounce back in life stronger than before. Only when you walk on that second path where you are calling the shots and guiding yourself, then only that dire situation is gonna make you stronger. Only then you will come out of that situation very powerful. Learn to alter your thoughts which will drastically improve your life. You see, if you have come out alive of that problematic situation, it simply means that the part you are playing on this stage of life is not over. The movie in which you are the hero is far from over. The fight in the boxing ring called life is left. The fact is that life and death is in the hands of the Almighty God. Actually, it is the wish of God that you should be alive. And what does that mean? It means if you have survived that painful situation, that problematic situation, and if you still have breath in your lungs, then understand God has infused enough strength in you that you can come out of that situation stronger mentally, emotionally, and spiritually and be a much better person in the future. It would be best for us to assume that if you are down, that doesn't mean you are out. No, not necessarily. No, no. It just means that there was a training period going on in your life and you had to pass through that phase of your life and that phase of your life had to teach you something which otherwise you wouldn't have learned. And now it has made you wiser and stronger. So if you have faced any dire situation, any miserable circumstance, any problematic situation, any obstacles, any health issues, etc, etc, etc. Maybe it could be a problem which has been given to you 
for something to learn in life. You have to live by the mantra of getting knocked down seven times and getting up eight. You fall down seven times and you have to get up eight times. So when things aren't going well, no matter how difficult that moment in time may seem, you know that you can find a way to make it through. As the saying goes, this also shall pass. If those agonizing situations haven't killed you, literally or figuratively, then use that strength and the lessons learned from all those unpleasant moments to cope and find another way or path. Let me give you an example of a situation where God forbid it doesn't happen with anybody. But let us think of a situation if a person is driving a car and he meets with an accident and he is injured badly. How would he drive the car when he starts driving once again? Wouldn't he drive the car much safely than before? Yes, he would because his accident would have taught him to maneuver the car better than before. So we can safely say that he has emerged stronger from that accident which could have been fatal. Similarly, you can apply this logic to any dire situation of your life. The next time he wouldn't make that same mistake when driving a car, he would have enough wisdom. He would have gained enough common sense. He would have received enough intelligence to maneuver the car better than before. Isn't it? Yes. So the things which do not kill you will always make you stronger. By stronger, I mean you will be more experienced. You will be more experienced to handle situations which are problematic, which are full of obstacles the next time you come out of it. And it is not you who is doing this. It is God's wish. He just wants you to take these lessons in life. Maybe God just wants to train you for something bigger in life, for something better in life. Who knows? Personally, I would suggest that anytime you are facing a problematic situation, an obstacle, a hard time, then probably you would come out of it much harder and much stronger. You will face life better than before. And one more thing before I end this video. If you wish to get stronger, don't rely or expect other people to face those situations for you. Because at the end of the day, if you wish to evolve stronger from that miserable situation, it is you who have to face those situations yourself. For instance, if you want to have a stronger body, you have to go to the gym yourself and do those jumping jacks, push-ups, burpees, crunches and squats. You don't expect your body to get stronger when others do it. Use your resources and your network and surely you must. But at the end of the day, it is up to you to take care of yourself. Whether you like it or not, people will come in and go out of your life. Sometimes by choice and sometimes by the grace of God. Well, that pretty much ends my video. Well, if you wish to know your future through astrology, and if you wish to become a stronger and a better person, if you want to live a life full of love, peace, happiness, prosperity and positivity, if you want to take your life from the ridiculous to the sublime, from nothing to something, then y'all can contact me over WhatsApp. Have a great day and a great life ahead. God bless you all. Jai Mataji. Jai Makali.